the death toll from the onslaught of Typhoon Ulysses has risen to 69, with over 1.7 million people directly affected by its wrath. The NDRRMC reports that Region 2, or Canali, recorded the highest of fatalities in Luzon. 24 deaths were reported in the region, 14 of which were due to landslides. Seven fatalities were reported due to flooding, and another three from electrocution. Now, while the rest of the country has already taken steps towards recovery, Cagayan is still experiencing massive flooding. For the region alone, about 342,000 persons or 100,000 families were affected by floods. Rice fields and roads alike remain submerged in impassable waters. The flood still has not subsided in 26 out of the province's 29 towns and cities. Both President Rodrigo Duterte and Vice President Lenny Robredo have visited the region to check the situation. Robredo has been leading rescue and relief efforts in Cagayan in the past days. Meanwhile, the president has ordered the DILG to stop quarrying in the area. He says quarrying and the effects of climate change are to blame in the tragedy that struck. 